So how do you realize that you really, really like a car? Well, for me, I realize that when I give a car a nickname. And so ever since I'm driving this CLS 500 shooting brake, it is just called Big Blue for me. But the name shooting brake is actually very interesting because it has been around for well over 100 years now. It was first used for horse carriages that were used for hunting and later on in the 60s the British started building cars and used that name and today it's basically a very stylish and good looking wagon so a practical car with a sort of coupe styling appeal to it and I think this Mercedes-Benz CLS 500 is just one of the greatest examples for a shooting brake. I absolutely love the way this thing looks. I have to say there is just a certain coolness factor about this shooting brake that is very appealing to me. I honestly think that you could show up at a Gothic nightclub in this thing and everybody would call it the coolest hearse that they have ever seen. But joking aside, I think this concept is just really really clever. Because what do you buy when you need a bit more practicality but you have the money to buy a luxury car like this one here. You can go for the E-Class estate car of course. but here in Germany, to be honest, that's quite a common car and Mercedes sells a lot of these, so that's not exclusive enough. So you could go for an SUV, of course, but it's the same story with them. And so coming up with a car like this one here, based on the CLS Coupe, is a very, very good idea in my opinion and the looks are just very much appealing to me. I admire Mercedes for their bravery to bring their concept cars on the road and to create new classes of automobiles with that. I think they've just done a great job over the last years and this is one of the greatest examples for that. So what does it feel like to drive this CLS 500 shooting brake? Well in many ways it's a typical Mercedes for me, it's a very comfortable car, the steering is very light, the suspension absorbs all bumps, so it is a really really comfortable car to drive. The 500 here comes with aromatic suspension at standard, so you have two different settings, sport and comfort, but to be honest, they don't really make a big difference for me. And on these tiny and twisty B-roads that I'm usually driving on here, the Mercedes just feels really, really big. I think this 500 here is actually one of the best engine choices that you can go for this car, because a car that looks so great deserves a great engine, and this 500 here really is a great engine. It is a 4.7 liter twin turbo V8, that makes 408 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque and the torque is really the astonishing part about this engine because the torque is available from as low as 1600 rpms up to 4750 I mean the power delivery is just absolutely effortless. This thing doesn't generate its power, the power is there from idle basically. And when you're driving this car on the autobahn and you eventually hit the limiter, which I did many times to be honest, which is set to 240 kph in this car because of the winter tires, normally it's 250. At 240 in 7 gear this engine is turning barely 3500 rpms and the red line is at 6500. So to be honest, I think if this car was limited, it would easily do 300 on the Autobahn. And that's just astonishing. Well, Mercedes-Benz is all about safety. And in many ways, this is a very busy car in a positive way. Because there's so much going on inside here. This car has the optional assistance driver's package which gives you blind spot, warning, lane changing, alert, so when you cross a white line the steering wheel will vibrate. It has all the things that you could think of. Very, very nice and of course you can ask do you need stuff like that in an automobile but as a luxury car buyer and as somebody that drives with this car you just really get used to it so quickly that you don't want to miss it, especially doing long distance road trips.
Now, of course, we have to talk about this beautiful interior here, and I have to say the design of Mercedes cars over the last years that they have developed is just very appealing to me. I really like it. And this car is loaded with optional extras, so I have no idea how much all this luxury costs here. But what I really like is the driving position inside this car. I mean, even I can bring the seat so far backwards that I can't reach the pedals anymore and I'm six foot four tall. So I think even somebody like Shaquille O'Neal would have no problems at all to fit into this car. And the space is just very, very nice. Even though the roof line is very narrow, I still have a good amount of headroom inside here. And yeah, I just really, really like this interior. So I've been driving Big Blue for a fairly long time on these twisty B roads here, which are very narrow. And I think she's in desperate need to stretch her legs now. So we will go to the German Autobahn to have some BMWs for breakfast. And if you have any questions, guys, please post a comment. Tell me what you think about this car. And I'll see you in the next review. Take care.